what you, you, you have to take it off the bone? You take it off the bone like this. Okay. Um, and then you could use your bone then for stock. Make sure you don't actually... Are you going to throw the bone in with the, with the marrow as well? Uh, I'm not actually going to throw it in just because it will create a lot of gelatin with okay. the marrow. Um, but I'll definitely keep it for different things. And the beef, as I said earlier, is like the Piemonte beef, and they try to use the sure. shin, which is actually the, the kind of fittest part or the, the most tender part. Would it part work it. with uh, shin and veal, do you think? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Are you looking for that richer sort of No, veal is absolutely attacks. perfect as well. Uh -huh. You mind passing me the olive oil? Olive oil, there you go. Included, that's a fairly cheap cut of meat, isn't it? It is, yeah. But when you're stewing, um, you know, slowly roasted um, types of meats as well, and that's what the slow food is about, is about as well, that you can actually make, you know, very good dishes by slow roasting them for a very long time, mm -hmm. tenderising them, exactly. So you want to get your pan quite hot, not too hot so you don't want to frighten the beef. <laughs> I always <laughs> put a little bit of olive oil on it. Um, you know, regular olive oil, not actually... It's not frightened then. It's yeah, not it's frightened. Good. Not extra virgin like olive oil because you don't want to use a, a good extra virgin olive oil here. Now, when I'm actually browning these, I also add in, like, some sprigs of thyme. Some people just add in the meat on its own, but I prefer to add in, actually, the herbs at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so does the chef at Buckham de Vino. Right. Um, and four cloves, just whole like this, because this is going to be cooked for four hours in the slow So they're going to they're gonna mush down anyway. Absolutely. And then you salt and pepper... So how, uh, I mean, you're, you're a big exponent of, of Irish food as well. I mean, how, how does the whole slow thing tie in with that? Um, in Ireland, mm. well, in Ireland, people are, the slow food movement in Ireland has really taken off. Yeah. Um, in England, in England, it's been kind of a slow, actually taking off. Right. Um, and has been very good in certain pockets. But now they've actually started their own official, um, their own official offices down in Ludlow. Um, so I think over the next couple of years, slow food is just going to explode yeah. in Britain. It'll be Wait, fantastic. Is there some really good examples of, of slow food regions within, within, within Britain? Within Britain, Devon. Yeah. Devon. 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 Oh, really? Uh, that, for me, that would be the perfect slow food Why Why is that? Because you've got so many producers around the mm -hmm. area. I think that when you have an area where you've got very good producers, immediately a slow life follows from that because okay. then you have the market, you have good places to eat and, right. and what have you. Then when your beef is brown, oh, this is the, oh, I have to tell you about this, the Barbaresco wine. Go for it. Um, you look quite excited about it. <laughs> I was, because only a couple of weeks ago, I was at the, the first tastings of the Barbaresco wine. Right. And what they do, this is very slow as well, what they do, instead of having like kind of official tastings where you go and you have a little bit of cheese and a little bit of wine, they have official dinner. So you book into a restaurant, mm -hmm. you pay... I think it was 40 euros for the restaurant. You get to taste 22 different wines, all with a different course. Sounds and so you, good. you come along, you could be on your own, you sit down at a table with 20 other people, and they do this every year for the month of May and the month of June. Right. And it is the life. I so, mean, it really is brilliant. Yeah, so you're pretty friendly by the end of that lot. <laughs> exactly. But you make lots of friends. You know, it's not a I'm sure you do life. after 22 glasses of wine. <laughs> no, but you I really well. do. You do. You make lots of friends there because, you know, you're feeling relaxed and you don't feel like you have to sit in your own table on your own. You join no. other people. And <laughs> okay, so what have we got? We're you're you browning it off. And then you actually just cover. Slowly. Slowly. Right. I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. And then you actually cover all of the beef with the wine. 